yo, 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 what it do? It's your boy, yo, Bay who say what's up, Records Layer Productions. We back at you with another one. We coming at you now with the Zingo. And I'm going to tell you, the best interface for $500. Now, I can't say under because it's not under. For less than $1,000, best interface. For it. Man, tell anybody I said it. Send them over here, man. Holler at me, man. You understand? And uh, fight against this argument. You got to uh, throw me a, a free interface that's 500 or more for me to even try to figure this shit out. So make sure you got the interface when you come talking shit. I ain't trying to hear nothing. You ain't got the interface. All right? Don't even come over here with that. You know, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing to talk about, bro. Got to have the interface to do it. So we got full and eight out, bus power, USB-C, two discrete preamps that's high-end quality preamps that you also can go to high-Z mode with. 64-bit clocking, which we all know what Antelope is known for, unless you just don't know who Antelope is, you know what I mean? And that means you just getting on your music journey or something. Yeah, because they known for clocking, and you just was getting started in the studio. Somebody might have tried to trick you into buying a clocking system, and you say, what? It costs so much money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit right there. So you get 37 real-time effects, the FGPA effects, one DSP chip, which for real DSP chip is not really being utilized for you yet unless you have the auto-tune plug-in. Uh, let me show you, right? So if you don't have the auto-tune effect, you ain't using DSP yet. So the DSP chip is in here. There's one in here, but we ain't even using it yet, bro. I ain't even get to that yet, bro. But just off what they give you with the FGPA, you get to use all these plugins that they give you. All right, so let's clear up 37. What's going on? You're getting 22, basically, guitar, amp, and cabs. Combined, it's 22 between the amps and the cabs, right? So it's 22 of them. So you're only getting 15 other processors, right? So you get three uh, preamps. Boom. You get three preamps. Matter of fact, I think you only get two preamps off the break. I think you only get the, if I'm not mistaken, I'll be wrong. Get the Bay 1073 MP. I think I got this on some little extra. They gave up extra because it was some type of Black Friday deal they had, right? They gave me that. And let me show you what else they gave me. Uh, the Diode 609. And it ain't coming up right here. I can't touch it. Uh, I guess ain't enough power for me to use it, but I got that too. And they gave me uh, something else they gave me. I thought it was something else. It was either the Filtech MK3 or the UK69. Because I got this now. It might be the Filtech. I got this. But I paid for this. The uh, HQ, the Harrison. I paid for that. Uh, I paid for the black. I pay for the pink. All right, but what you can see is that with the uh, the pink, you see the difference where you can go into the times three effect, you know. But I only paid twenty dollars a piece for them, for them too, right? I bought the. Let me show you what other EQ I bought. I bought that. Like I said, I bought that. I bought one, two, three. Four, the mag, the mag, they probably ain't, ain't gonna let me pull it up, man. I bought the mag for plug in day version of it. It's called where they don't go in the sky mode, right? And they also added, I think, four more, four more uh, notches you could go to. They got 3.5, 7, 15, no, nah, 3.5, 7, 15, they added 5. 3.5, 7, 15, 25, and 30. Instead of your normal, uh, what is it, 5, 10, no, 2.5, 5, 10, 20, and 40, right? All right, I think that's what the normal one was, right? I could be wrong, but I think that's what it was. And, man, that thing just sounds so good. Then you get, like I say, you got the preamps. And like I also paid on compressors. I paid for the impressor. Only, which is, y'all should know what this is, right? All right, yeah, but, man, got this thing right here. 
it is what they call it. It's the Swiss Army knife, bro. Like, so you pull this out. It's, what the? You ready to chop, chop something up, bro? For real. Like, you ready to go smack at it? Whatever you imagining. Like, all right, man, I want to detect. Uh, I want to detect all the way up here. Like, and that's what I'm doing most of the time. Like, when I pull this out, I'm going straight to where I wanted to hit, man. I'm like, man, all right, man, that 1K, I want that 1K to bump, man. You know what I mean? I go hit at that 1K, man. Like, remember 1.5, 700. I feel like, man, my my tops a little harsh or something. I want to get at them, man. Use it like a de Man, pull this bad boy out. Man, oh, my God. Like, yeah, the best one buy. If you're going to buy one compressor for this, buy the impressor if you only ready buy one if you only you know what man you ain't gonna buy one for a while like me i ain't gonna worry about buying one for a while until i'm sorry about it i sneak out i'm gonna get the discreet four right like yeah so once i get the discreet four i'm gonna worry about another compressor because i'm definitely up just getting this right but upgrading all on my mind like it's crazy like i need i want the full headphones outputs and the only thing that's weird right i was going up uh, I had a choice, like, as soon as I got this, I was like, man, I already was thinking, like, damn, should I have got the Zen Q? Like, you know what I mean? Because I could have got the Q. But I was like, man, let me just get the go first and just see, you know what I mean? My 6 I six got enough inputs and outputs for real for what I be doing, right? So let me just check it out, right? Boom, check it out. Man, blown away. Ain't the word. That, 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 that's a misfire. Listen, so I love it, man. So because of that. I'm going all in, bro. So I was going to get the, the, uh, what was it? The Q. All right? I was going to get the Q. That was my goal, get the Q. But I look, and I realize, I say, hey, ho, let me just do a trial. Like, uh, no, this sounds crazy. You know what I mean? But let me, let me, let me, let me get a trial on it. You know what I mean? Let me get a trial. So my trial was, let me get this thing up. And I did it. And when I did it, I said, damn, I did the right decision. I did the right decision. Oh, listen, get the Zengo and upgrade. And still keep my Zengo because I can't run both at one time. You can't run two simultaneous, but I can run from my split of cord to the other one. But as far as on the processing of the AFX, the DAW, you won't be able to do that twice. You can't do that twice. You only can run one instance of this software right here. It can only be ran one time. So because of that, I'm already stuck to that situation where I know already, hey, I'm going to get another one. So my idea of how to use the other one is this. I'm going to run. I'm going to put this one on, like right now. I'm running my 6i6 to get you the vocals right now. I got a short SM7B. I'm going in through a cloud lifter. Running through there with Phantom Power on and then I'm coming straight in here. All right? Boom. So, I'm going to do the same idea. But it's the, the trick is when I'm coming through the 6i6, I'm not just using the 6i6 for no reason, man. I got it at 96,000 kilohertz. So, I'm getting the highest of quality of audio coming in. And I can't just explain to you what that really is, but it's, it, it, it just offer a more... Uh, clarity of the bullshit that's going on around me. So let me show you the bullshit that's going on around me, right? <laughs> All right, so listen, I wouldn't even do this video for y'all if it wasn't for this interface, for real. Like, I got expander plugins, but this expander plugin is just the best expander plugin I ever used, for real. All right, so we're going to turn it off there for a second. So we can make sure it's off on the main channel. And we're going to go do it again here. Now, just watch this. Hello, y'all. Welcome to my world where it's really at. And it's a whole bunch of goddamn noise and fucking goddamn furnaces behind your head that's making all this fucking noise. Can't get shit out. I had to go in the booth and record this shit and how I'm going to do that. I ain't going to have the computer in the booth with me. So I couldn't show you this. But because of this great expander plug-in right here, you just hit this button and everything works out right. It just get rid of the noise like the noise never existed. And it's smooth and Oh man, like this. Right, I just want I'm gonna turn it off one more time so you can just know how how much fidelity and crispness it really is in this preamp. So even though you hear the noise, but you can just hear for real, these preamps are this pristine, man. They they are great, man. You feel me? So I'm not even using the preamps right now, no bro. Like I'm saying, I'm, the real function of the preamps is turning in that forty eight 
uh, Phantom Power one. But if you listen to how it handles the the darker side of my voice, all right. If I was just going through the six out six, it doesn't handle that in the same way. I just can't explain it, but it handles the low end a little different. I'm leaving this on with the noise for a minute, just so you can get it, right? But I gotta get rid of the noise. I can't function. I feel like I'm losing my mind. It's three times louder than me in my ear than how y'all gonna get it. But yeah, if I was at 48 hertz, it, that noise would be seemingly turned down a little bit. I won't. It's like I can hear it. When I'm at 96,000 hertz. Like if I turn to 44, it's like that go down. It go down again. Like so if, if I'm worrying about, yeah, cloud that out because it's getting clear, that's cool. I can do that. But am I getting the, the higher recording? No. And I already figured that out. And the other good thing is this. When I'm turning at the 96 kilohertz and I'm going through there, all right, the problem of why I don't go with 96 kilohertz in my dog is because it just take up too much computer. If you ain't. Man, you better be making millions of dollars already to run that much computer because your file's going to be too big, man. You're going to just run out of computer space ASAP. You're going to get 20 projects in your computer and you'll be talking about, man, you ran out of CPU. I mean, not CPU, you ran out of storage. So with this way, I'm getting a half a deli. It's coming back in at 44.1 right here, right? I can go up, but that's going to make my file bigger when I, when I save it. But if I come in through there, it's no bigger file, right? And I'm getting it clear audio if make any sense so like i say when i get to discrete four i will be running the same situation by using the zengo turn this up to i'm you won't believe it but this go up to 192 kilohertz so i will be turning this bad boy up to 192 kilohertz running it out into my door i mean into the discrete four so i'm gonna see what that be like you feel me i already know what it job be like because i did it backwards Compatible with the 6 out 6 and yeah, this is crazy, but I would have, that was cool, but I couldn't still uh, manipulate things in a way I really still wanted to manipulate things, so I went and did say, let me use the 6 out 6 do it the other way, you feel me, because it's just not enough inputs and outputs for me to run it the way that I wanted, the way I tried to run it that way, but I got it. Way I want it now, you feel me? Get the noise out of there, you know what I mean? So, for me, this just a, a overview. This ain't a review, man. This is to let you know, man. Look, if you heard about the Zingo, if anyone told you about it, if you looked into it, man, listen. The only re only way I see you not want to hear me about a Zingo right now, if you with uh, Universal Audio and you feel like you already got that and you don't need to try it out, but from my understanding, from people who have both, it's like it's not it's not close for as far as the uh, what you really getting as far as just the interface, right? But as with uh, UAD, you got Luna, so that's a whole number world. As soon as it look like antelope is creeping up on them, right? It's like antelope is creeping, they creeping, creeping up on them, right? Boom, they can make it the DSP, the gray ad, all these other plug-in manufacturers stuff. They gray be able to bust them over there. They hit them with Luna, though, man. They came with Luna, and I haven't found nobody that don't like Luna that has Luna. It could be a bias thing, like how I'm being biased right now because I have a Zengo. You know what I mean? It could be that. But from my understanding, it is is key on for if you like that world, you like that world. And what I'm, what I'm getting to notice is as more as it's trying to seem like people are running away from going into worlds where you are trapped in, the more people are going into these worlds. because these companies are now trying to figure out how to get you in a world. Like UAD just now came with the new interfaces where basically you're not in their world. So once you use that, right, I promise you where you would want to go in their world. You would say you just now bought a piece of their world, but you're not, you at the front door, right? And it's going to make you say, all right, it's cool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I need that real thing they got that my buddy was telling me. And when I go to forums and I'm talking on UAD stuff now and Everybody is saying, yeah, that's cool, but, man, you need to get you a twin. Yeah, you need to, uh, yeah, go ahead up and get you a solo at least, man, you know, so you can run the lunar world. If you can't go in the lunar world, it's no choice. It's no thought of do I get UAD or analog. Now, if you're going in the world, hey, I can't tell you not, man, you know what I mean, but for $500, if you want to, or you say solo against Q, 
it's a dead story from my understanding from people who I know people who have the twins. I don't know no one who have the solo, but from my understanding, hey, I ain't even in trouble, bro. Like the only thing you wanna have is Luna, but when we talking about instances of the plug in, you can't even put in instances of the plug in, bro. Like, come on man, we don't need to talk. You only can run one SSL channel script off of the solo. So you basically saying you great put it on your master trip. You try to go put two, you're dead. They don't even, I mean, you're, you're dead, man. And, and it's weird. I'm like, dang, like, why are they advertising that you can really use it if you're only really using one at a time? It's cool because, like, I even understand with this, I got to bounce everything out. Like, once I pull up the plugin, I got to bounce everything. Like, it's no rendering it out. I don't know if you would be like that, too, but I know on here you must bounce it. But it's cool because I already understand I'm thinking of it as hardware. It performs like hardware. It don't perform like regular plugins. It's probably just when you turn a knob. The instant reaction you are getting from the knobs is weird, man. But I'm going to let y'all go ahead and get out of here. I got to get out of here. So y'all can just go ahead and just go to the next video. Where the next video, I give you demonstrations. I show you what it is, you know what I mean, how I use it, and what I've done with it. So please like or subscribe. Any comments you have, anything I miss, or anything I said wrong, or anything like that, man, just let me know, you know what I mean. Holler at me. It's your boy Obey Who Say, Layer Productions, and I'm out.